In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the front wheel speed sensors on this Ram 1500. Let's get into it. We're going to remove the wheel, use a 22 millimeter socket, take the lug nuts off. And pull the wheel off. Using a trim tool, I'm just going to pop the connector off the inner fender well. And then we can disconnect it. There's a little lock tab here. Just slide that up. You can use a pick or a screwdriver. And then you can push down and disconnect the connector. Using a trim tool, just pop this out. Pull the grommet out right here. And there's another retainer here. Just pop that out. And just slide this out of the way. Now we're gonna take the caliper off with the bracket. I'm gonna use a 21 millimeter socket. Take the two caliper bracket bolts off. Gonna compress the caliper a little bit, just go in between the rotor and the caliper, just pry it over a little bit, just so it's easier to pull off. Slide that off, and using a brake caliper hanger, just gonna hang it from the coil spring. Just make sure there's no tension on the brake hose. Grab the rotor, slide it off. I'm gonna take a five millimeter hex socket, take this bolt out. I'm just gonna tap this one in, it's a little bit rusty. I'm just going to use some needle nose pliers, just grab the sensor, just rock it back and forth, and just pull out. There you go. And just slide it through the dust shield. There it is. There's a little bit of rust on here. We want to clean that up. If yours doesn't look this bad, you can skip this step, but we don't want any of the rust to go into the hole. So we're going to take a grease gun and just fill this up with a little bit of grease, just like that. Or you can just use some wheel bearing grease. That works as well. And take the wire brush. Just try to clean that up a little. And I'll just take a screwdriver and scrape out some of the grease, the dirty grease. You don't have to scrape all of it out, just some of the top that got some of the rust on it, but it should be good. Take the new sensor, slide it through the shield. Get that started, push it in, take the bolt.
and snug that down. I'm going to use a wire brush to just clean up some of the rust on the hub. You can use a little anti-seize. I'm just going to use some copper spray just to stop corrosion. That's good. And if you need to on the back side of the rotor, you can wire brush that as well. If you have some rust on there, this one's good. Now I'm just going to put a lug nut on just to hold the rotor on. Now take the caliper off. The brake caliper hook, make sure the hose isn't twisted. Slide it over the rotor. Take the bolts, get those started. Tighten those down. And torque these to 130 foot pounds. Now slide the wiring harness in place, push the retainers in. that on there and push that in line it up lock it in lock it in place and push it in and you can take the lug nut off now put the wheel on get the lug nuts started Snug those down. Now we're going to torque the lug nuts to 130 foot pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.